What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Kevin Samuels. Okay, this is probably like my first time really speaking on Kevin Samuels in a video form. Or it might be the second time. But especially here on this channel. I've just been sitting back, right? As a content creator. Because I don't like to talk about other YouTubers. I really don't. But... In this situation with Kevin Samuels, he has become a phenomenon, right? Phenomenon, right? He has been able to grow at a rate that you just don't really see anymore. Especially speaking on the things that he's speaking on. Now, Kevin Samuels basically was part of what you would call the black manosphere, okay? And the things that he speaks on in regards to women. Now, he spoke about other things as well. We all know this. But him addressing women specifically is what catapulted him to where he is and is why he's getting the most pushback. Now, this isn't anything new. I mean, us as men, especially us men who are red-pilled, men who are going their own way, uh, we've been getting pushback for years. We've had hit pieces. We've had demonetizations. We've had hit lists. Uh, we dealt with a lot over the years. But there was never really anybody to grow to the point to where a Kevin Samuels is who's speaking on the things that he speaks on in his own way because he's talking about high value. I don't speak on who's high value and who's not. Maybe here and there in regards to certain talking points. But that's his thing, right? That's his lane. But what I have seen people do in response to him, it only proves his point. And others too. Here you have a guy who's basically telling women the truth. He's not lying to them. He's not being deceptive to them like some of these other guys have been who recently got exposed. And you would think that women will say you know what i may not like a lot of what he's saying but at least he's not lying to me they can't even say that because i think that kevin samuels represents a bit of failure in the modern day woman and women for the most part do not like to admit that they have failed in regards to relationships and marriages Everything is all on the men. It is up to us. It is up to us uh, as men to be held accountable for our actions. To be weary of the things that we say. So I think that when you have women nowadays who are lonely, they're bitter they're confused they don't understand why things aren't working out for them they don't understand why they can't get the men that they want it is because you have put yourself in a situation where you really just can't win and you have nobody but yourself to blame gone are the days where you could just put everything off on the men and ignore the fact that you're dysfunctional Ignore the fact that you've chosen the wrong men your entire life, right? Kevin Samuels tells these women the truth in his own way, and it bothers them. But let me ask a lot of you women something. Would you rather a guy lie to you or be honest to you? Honest to you. Like, seriously. Because I would think that the majority of intelligent women would want a man to be honest with them instead of lie to them. But the lie is easier to deal with than the truth. That's why you a lot of the majority of modern women are getting played. They're getting uh, getting into relationships with men that really don't want to be in relationships with them. They just want to sleep with those women, but they lie to those women to get with those women. Told them what they wanted to hear, right? And then when those men get what they want, those men ghost them. 
So in regards to these people, it ain't just women, it's males too. There's probably gonna be some males that don't like me making this video, but so what? Tough. I just don't like the fact that when you have no evidence whatsoever that this guy has engaged in relations with other men, but you're putting it out there because you don't like him for whatever reason, that has a lot more to do with you than anything else. Because truth be told, truth be told, no, the average everyday guy is not searching for who's gay and who's not. Unless you have men saying and doing suspect things. I made the video about Lil Nas X, right? He's a guy who claims that he is alphabet, right? He is rain, he's team rainbow. Not only has he pretty much said it, but he goes out and he shows you that he's team rainbow. There's no gray area there. You have people that are showing you, yes. Now, again, he could be doing it for attention, but he's basically saying, this is me. Now, I don't agree with everything Kevin Samuels has said, but I'm not going to sit here and act like Kevin Samuels is out just putting out innuendos, alluding to men getting with other men. I just don't see it. If you don't like somebody, talk about their talking points. The shaming, especially when you have males doing it, it just shows you that they're mad because he's getting all the attention from these women that they think they should get because they think they are the masculine ones, right? But again, you're still acting like these other women who are getting on social media and are shaming Kevin Samuels talking about he's gay, which is funny because a lot of these same women have gay friends. They have gay friends who do their hair. They have gay friends that they gossip with that they spent there around. So how do your gay friends feel about you trying to diss another man by calling him gay? How do they feel about that? Now you have people who are gay as well, who are saying that, which actually is an indictment on your orientation, because if you're using your own orientation to attack somebody else, I mean, you know, you can't, you can't get mad when other people do it. When they drop certain words and certain terms, right? I just, I just want people to address the talking points. Because again, unless I have receipts and proof that this guy is out here engaging in certain behaviors, why is it being put out here? I just don't understand it. And I'm not here to be a defender of Kevin Samuels. I barely have made any videos on the guy. But when you sit back and you see all these people just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, it's sad. It really is. Especially because you have males doing it. But again, you know, these guys are professing a lot. They're out here on the hunt for who's limp wrist and who's not, you know? And I don't have time for any of that. I don't. I don't care who likes what. I don't care how nobody lives their life. As long as they're not endangering my well-being or anybody else's well-being. But the fact that this stuff is being put out here, it just shows you that we, for the most part, we are in a situation where we, especially us as men, we look for reasons to not like each other. And I've known this for years. Even making content in the manosphere right because i've only ever been in one manosphere i've seen people say things to me come at me and we're supposed to be speaking about the same things but you're not even going at my ideals or my talking points you're coming at me because you don't like me because you're a failure and you cannot grow now you any listen anybody who's listening to me they don't have to like Kevin Samuels. I'm not telling them to be a fan of Kevin Samuels. I'm on an, I'm an outsider. I'm an outsider. 
I'm just somebody who's looking at this story about Kevin Samuels and that story about Kevin Samuels. I'm on I'm on the outside looking in and I'm coming into this with an objective um, opinion of this. I just don't think it's right to be calling people certain things and you're looking at an old picture and you're looking at the fact that I guess he was a, a dancer, right? People may say, oh, that's a suspect looking for, he had a jerry curl. How many, how, listen, Deion Sanders had a jerry curl. I mean, come on, are, are, is, D, is, is Deion Sanders part of the alphabet community because he used to have a jerry curl? You know how many black men had jerry curls back in the day? Come on, man. And they're talking about the way he smiles and the way that he's posing in photos. Let me tell you something. I, I've seen a lot of photos, a lot of older photos, right, over the years. There have been some very suspect posing that went on. Clothing choices, right? And again, I'm not going to call those people gay. But again, y'all have your own opinions. I'm just here to talk about why nobody is talking about his talking points and what he believes. Everybody wants to go to, oh, look at this old picture. This is proof. This is proof. This is proof. Where's the men? <laughs> you don't think that there's men, you know, who are in the alternative lifestyle who can come out and say, hey, you know, I've seen him at some of these clubs. I've seen him around some guys or maybe even men from his past. It's easy to find. I mean, Kevin Samuels has become a big deal on social media. I just think that people just don't like the fact that he's garnering the attention of a lot of these women. One, and two, he's grown. His platform has grown. See, I'm not a jealous person. I can give credit where credit is due. But I felt like if I talk about Derek Jackson, I could talk about the situation with Kevin Samuels because it's starting to get out of hand. And I want to come with an objective opinion on this because i feel like it's starting to get silly it really is if you don't have people coming out saying they were with this guy having receipts text mess, none of that if you don't have any of those things why are you so hell-bent on trying to prove that and by the way even if he is a switch hitter let's say he hops from one side to the other you think that's going to stop his growth or you think that's only going to increase it? I.e. look at Lil Nas X. 